Hello everybody, this is Joseph. Welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be discussing uh, text edit um, and text input. So let's get started right away. Let's start out uh, and show you what I have here. If we run this, we've got a white box that sits in the center of here. And uh, that's all for right now. So let's go ahead and in let's uh, put a text input in first. So text input and let's anchor fill it into rectangle one. So anchor stop fill. Rectangle one. Okay, let's add some text to it, some default text I should say. And we'll just write in uh, EX uh, Don. Okay, uh, let's add the color be black. This is the text color, that is. Um, and let's run this. And as you can see now, we have this thing that says EX Don, right? And if we click on it, we can actually type into it and edit it. Okay, this is a text input. Okay. We can do all sorts of alignment and stuff like that, but for sanctity of simplicity, I'm just going to keep it this as, as, as it is right now. Um, we can do, let's add some more text just a regular old text and we'll give it a doesn't even need an ID the text will be uh, we'll set it up to be blank for right now you'll see why in a second um, let's say color white anchors uh, top and we're going to give the text input an ID here real quick we'll say ID text in put and we'll say anchors top text input dot bottom not baseline bottom and we'll give it anchors dot top margin we'll give it 20 just right now um, and let's go ahead and run this and we shouldn't have any text and we don't which is good now um, let's check out what unaccepted does here. And let's just say council dot log text. Okay, so it's looking at the text and in this case it's ex don, right? So what unaccepted is basically is if you press enter. Um, so or if something is accepted, right? So we got this don here right there. Um, that's great. So let's uh, add to our text here. Let's give it font dot pixel size. And I'm just going to give it 48 for right now. And let's go ahead and run this. There we go. Good. It's looking good. Let's go above this and put some more text right here. But for, just, for this part, I'm just going to do it in the design area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some text right here drop it right about here drag it way out set the font size to be 48 like the other one and the text is going to be please enter a name and the text color is going to be white and we're going to scale this down because it's too big there we go please enter in a name all right, back to our edit, and we're going to say unaccepted, okay, we're going to say text one, text one dot text, oops, text is equal to our text, right? So it's equal to whatever this text is right here, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, we'll say actually, we'll actually say this, we'll say it's actually equal to your name is, and we'll put a new line, and then we'll hit the plus and we'll say text. Okay, let's try, let's just double check everything really quick. 
and we want it to be a I see a bad thing already ID uh, we'll call this after text and we'll go up here and we have to change this okay let's try that again please enter in a name okay I press enter your name is Joseph that is the text input I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, the only difference between text input and text edit really is is uh, a text edit area is used for like making a, like a notepad or making something like my like like a word or something like that um, you can go through the help pages and look it up. I might make a video tutorial on text edit if you guys would like. Just uh, shoot me a line, but it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory if you look it up in the help pages. Well, I'm Joseph. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, have a good one out there, and be nice to everybody.